Hi everyone, this is Adi from Team Code UZ. Today I want to show you uh, how to use the weight blocks from the control flow category. Not only how to use them, but when and why. So in many missions you would want the robot to change its behavior pending something. For example, in this case we want the robot to go forward and then we want it to make a left turn. When do we want it? Well, we don't want it now, we want it just before hitting that container. So. I'll start by programming just the behavior that I know I want. I want my robot to drive forward and I want my robot to do a left turn. I add steering. Steering of minus will make it turn left and 100 will make it screw turn or point turn. Let's reduce the speed. If I run this code as is, my robot will just drive forward and instantly make that left turn so I won't even see it driving forward. I need it to wait for something. I need it to wait for that container. The robot doesn't know a container, it has sensors that can tell, him, uh, can tell it what's around it, and we can use the ultrasonic sensor to detect that container from afar. So if I open my control flow, there are all kinds of weight. There is weight by milliseconds, weight by the touch sensor, the gyro, but there's also the weight for the ultrasonic sensor. And if I put this block in between those two commands, then my robot will start going forward and will wait before making that left turn for that condition to be met. What that condition needs to be, well, the robot will keep on measuring the ultrasonic distance. It will start with a high value of 100 and almost 10 centimeters, and it will start going down uh, 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 and as it reaches the container, as it gets close to the container. So I don't want it to reach all the way to the container. So I'll tell it when the distance gets equal or less than 15, then move on to the next command. If I run it, you will see that now the robot goes forward, it measures the distance, and only then it starts making that left turn. So this is one way of using the ultrasonic uh, weight block. We can also use other weight blocks, for example, the wait until touch. Now instead of waiting for a distance, it's going to wait for a collision. The problem here is that that is a red container, and red containers are, uh, they're not good, don't touch them. Ah. As you can see, once I touched the red container, I started bleeding points, uh, and we don't want that. So ultrasonic sensor is very good to change the behavior of the robot before hitting something, uh, and the touch sensor is when hitting something. Uh, I can alternatively also use the wait for milliseconds. I can try different timings, but this would be a lot of trial and error and might not work uh, as well between missions and between conditions. It varies depending on the distance that the container is. For example, if I set it for two minutes, two seconds, then I need my container to be uh, closer to the robot. But if the container will be far uh, further away, then it won't respond uh, uh, that well. Meaning if I use time, it will always, always stop here. But if I use the ultrasonic sensor, it will always stop 15 centimeters away from the container, no matter how far I placed it. So the weight blocks are a cool way to control the flow of the robot, the program of the robot. It doesn't stop the robot itself, it just stops the, ro the program from progressing to the next command. So whenever we want the robot to wait before changing its behavior, we can use a weight block based on time, based on the ultrasonic sensor, the touch sensor, etc. If you have questions, you can always click here, help, and start writing down the touch sensor or weight blocks, uh, click enter, and there will be all kinds of articles that can wait, that can help you. Um, weight block. So here's the wait for block. So feel free to check out all those articles. Feel free to play around with all the weight blocks. Uh, you'll find they're very user-friendly and very easy to use, and they will solve a lot of your coding uh, problems. So, hope you enjoyed it. May the code be with you.